Alright, time for the first location to farm tier 5 and 6 materials. And we're starting with Vials of Blood. This is a great spot if you want to make some quick goals by simply killing mobs or to farm Vials of Blood for one of the gifts for a legendary item. I've been averaging around 18 gold per hour with my elementalist here, with some sessions yielding over 20 gold per hour. These numbers are without the Jade Scavenger protocols by the way. If you run around the same amount of magic find as me and you can maintain the same pace, you'll most likely get around 15 to 20 vials of tier 6 blood and 75 to 80 vials of tier 5 blood every half hour. To get to our location, you'll want to go to the Derelict Elf Waypoint, which you might recognize from our tier 5 and 6 venom farms. This time around, we're exiting the Delph on the north side and move towards the west. There you'll see a ton of minotaurs which will be killing over and over again. You might notice I also kill all of the packs of the Alpine Stalkers along the way, which will yield some extra experience and tier 5 and 6 claws. There are two routes to follow. In the footage, I'm running around in a smaller circle, but you could slightly extend it by going back and forth through the passage you came from. It doesn't matter too much which of the two you do, as long as you can keep maintaining pace, because the more enemies you can kill in a single session, the more drops you will get and thus the higher the gold per hour will be. Make sure you keep track of diminishing returns keeping in when you're either farming for an extended amount of time or if you manage to keep a higher pace than the video. If they do kick in, it's time to change to a new location for about half an hour and give the DR the time to reset. If you have any questions about diminishing returns or how to prepare your character for a farming session, make sure you check out my previous video. I go over both subjects and these will be relevant for any video to come in this series. In general, I usually stick 30 to 45 minutes to a location, which will keep things fresh and prevents the DR mechanic from ruining my day. There are three more tips and tricks I want to share with all of you. If you have an Ascended Amulet, make sure to go and buy a Magical Enrichment for another 20% Magic Find. They cost 20 laurels at a laurel vendor in one of the main hubs, and if you don't have any laurels, you can either choose to acquire them through the Wizard's Vault for 10 Astral Acclaim each, or you get 10 every time you get a weekly chest, which will take you 2 weeks at most. Given that we're killing enemies all of the time, it is definitely worth slotting either a Might or Magic Trophy Scavenger protocol in your Jade Bot. Currently, they yield about the same amount of profit, so use whichever you need the most or whichever you have lying around. And finally, what you want to do with the materials depends on your objective. If you're saving up for a gift of blood for a generation 2 or 3 weapon, or one of the legendary armors, runes or sigils, you'll most likely be fine with the ratio of tier 5 and 6 blood that is dropping. If you're saving up for a gift of magic instead, you're going to want to chuck 1 tier 6 blood, 50 tier 5 blood, 5 piles of crystalline dust and some philosopher's stones into the mystic forge. This will convert them to tier 6 blood and will on average yield you 7 extra vials. If gold per hour is of any concern, the Mystic Forge method is the way to go too, as you'll be making around 19 silver of profit every time you do this. I'll leave a link to the Fast Farming website's material promotion page in the pinned comment as prices and circumstances may change over the long run. I'll do my best to put out a few more of these videos in the near term so that you have different locations to farm. Each time I'll let you know how many materials and gold per hour I'm roughly getting and if you notice you're far off my numbers, you might need to either optimize your pace or your magic find. I already shared the Venom and Destroyer farms a while ago and as mentioned I'll revisit these in later videos, but for now the old ones might provide you with two more locations when you need to swap maps to avoid diminishing returns kicking in. If you have any other comments or questions, feel free to ask them down below and as always don't forget to like and subscribe.